Yeah, so my name's Corey Corbett, and I had the fortune of playing Scotty Rollins in Red Sky. Um, Scotty is a hell of a character. He's a self-sufficient man who's lost everything in brutal circumstances. He knows how to use his knives. He loves and can survive in the wild by himself for months at a time. He's a tracker. He keeps to himself and doesn't talk much to anybody. He forms an alliance with uh, Chris Irvine because he can see that there's also a leader in Chris who's a fellow spirit who knows how to survive against the odds. And I think that that really defines who Scotty is. He's somebody who can survive against all odds. Uh, he doesn't trust easily. He doesn't love easily. Uh, and it's by great fortune that these two characters get to meet up because they can look after each other and protect their backs. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful arc of just codependence on how to stay alive. Uh, working with a professional crew and cast is something that you hold on to, I think, for the rest of your life. You get to work with some amazing people in some amazing circumstances. Because it was shot over uh, a period of months, uh, you also realise in hindsight that you should have picked your costume a little bit more wisely. Perhaps had a bag with you, uh, given that uh, it does get cold, um, or it does get too hot, depending on what you're wearing as a character. So, uh, you know, you do have to work for it. You, you know, you have to be professional, you have to put in the hard yards, and you have to work for it. It's physically gruelling, emotionally gruelling, mentally gruelling, and so much fun. Uh, it's ridiculous hanging out with some wonderful people. Uh, it's like a holiday, this stuff. Uh, working with such talented cast and crew. Just spectacular. Okay, so I started off acting and modelling when I was four years old for a magazine called Comet. Uh, I got my first professional acting role in Arthur Miller's All My Sons when I was eight years old as the boy. Um, uh, I've since done Waiting for Godot five times, uh, different adaptations. I've played Winston Smith in an uh, adaptation of 1984. I've uh, toured over to the States to play Dionysus in a work with Trashti Olufsen and Laura Kutera that we're co-developing. Uh, it's an international collaboration between Iceland, the US and Australia and the Australian counterpart um, that explores Ibsen's work with mythology in theatre making. Uh, in film and television it's a slightly different story working on feature films uh, locally for the most part uh, and also getting to star as a guest character uh, Jimmy in the Dr. Blake Mysteries as well it was a real fun highlight uh, my own character I developed for that show. Working with Stuart Marshall is an experience. Now, I consider myself to be a fairly perfectionist. I like to choose who I work with very carefully. And to have somebody who takes their work as seriously as Stuart does is something that I hold in absolute high regard. Uh, he's earned my trust both as a professional in the industry and I consider him a good friend now as well. I love working with people who work for what they love and it's clear that Stuart loves what he does for work. Um, he is a perfectionist. You know, he's happy to spend hours on a shot. Um, you know, even when he'd rather not, he wants to get that extra mile in to make it right. Uh, he's got a clear vision of what he can do, uh, and he knows how to outsource. He knows who to get on, on board to help the project come to life. It's magic. Uh, I love it. I can't wait for further experiences. And Red Sky is just the beginning. Red Sky. A post-apocalyptic film of gigantic proportions uh, screams to international marketplaces with US accents throughout. It's a wonderful mishmash of what could go wrong and what can go right and a power of humanity to connect and see the good in life throughout adverse struggles. To me, Red Sky is a beautiful storyline full of hope and agony and despair 
set against a backdrop of sci-fi and war and terrorism uh, all in a fictional state but I think that it lends a whole lot of credibility as to how the, the world can stick together throughout adversity um, and find a common good that's worth fighting for.